Bug Replay records your screen, synchronized with network traffic and developer console logs, making it super easy to diagnose bugs in web applications. I'm going to show you a bug I found on Reddit. In this case, I got an error when I logged out after clearing my sessions. The network traffic and JavaScript errors will populate as the video progresses. Once you see the bug, I can hit pause and locate the problem URL. On the right side, you can see more detailed information about any URL, like the request and the response. If you select the JavaScript tab, you can see the console messages from the browser and developer debugger messages. If you click the settings gear, you can see a list of filters and other viewing options. You can search for a URL or filter by response type. For example, you can choose to only show responses that are JSON encoded or filter by domain. All environmental data is captured as well, so you never have to ask basic questions such as, are cookies enabled? And what operating system are you using? You can choose to download the video. And you have the option of sharing the report with those outside of your team through a shareable URL. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Bug Replay's other features and show you how to set up your account. First, head over to bugreplay.com. Click Sign Up in the top right corner. Enter your email address and create your team. Next, choose the URL for your project dashboard. Follow the on-screen prompts to create your account. You can do this with a single click by choosing the Sign On with Google option to avoid manually entering your account information. After reading our Terms of Service, click Register Now. You will initially see a pop-up window prompting you to watch a short overview of Bug Replay. This is the Bug Replay dashboard. Here, you can see your team's full list of bugs and other information, such as who on your team has made a video. If you haven't already downloaded the extension, it's very easy to do so from the dashboard. Just click Install Extension and follow the directions. To invite people to join your team, click your name in the upper right corner. You can also set up email notifications so that you're notified whenever you or a member of your team creates a bug report. And you can add integrations with GitHub, Jira, and Slack. More integrations are in the pipeline. Now that the extension is installed, I'll show you how easy it is to create a bug report. First, go to the website where you encountered the bug. Click on the extension and the record icon you'll see a message that Bug Replay is debugging the browser. You've begun recording. When you're done reproducing the steps that led to the bug, just click on the browser extension again and click Stop. You can always change the title and description later on, but naming the report right away helps you to keep your reports more organized. When you're done, click Save. A notification will be sent when the video is done processing. Clicking the name will return you to your dashboard, where you can view the report whenever you're ready. From your dashboard, you can create a shareable URL for your report. If you haven't already done so, you can edit the title and description of your report, and you can mark the issue as open or closed. Thanks for watching this bug replay tutorial. If you have any questions, just contact us at support at bugreplay.com.